start heading southbound and because the wind is coming north northwest I should be okay then the wind is gonna start coming from behind me right so now we should be all right here we go ladies and gentlemen now we are officially in North Dakota that's right we have now Enter the United States of America. Yeah. And I'm happy I'm going southbound, man. I'm telling you guys. It is crazy windy. I was looking at it. It's like 65 kilometers an hour, which is like 40 mile an hour wind right now. Yikes. That is crazy. But luckily we're heading southbound at least for uh, you know two and a half hours and then we'll be going eastbound so because the wind is coming northwest I think that should still be all right we'll be going southeast anyways on that 94 so we should be all right but yeah we are now officially in the United States yikes I'm hoping it ain't gonna be like that when I come back that would not be good. No. Not at all. But anyways, we gotta put the hammer down. I uh, already got a message back from dispatch asking when I think I could be there. And I told them I could be there around 12, I think. So we'll see what they will do. Maybe they will reschedule that load. And hopefully we can... Uh, get that booked in there around that time you know that way I can uh, get my load off tomorrow and then start heading back again <laughs> I know it's just gonna be a short week but uh, that's what I've been wanting to do all, 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 all that long anyways right I have just been wanting a short trip because I want to be back for Thursday night and Friday and Saturday <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be taking two days off. Not that I really wanted to, but uh, I've been going pretty steady here for the last little while. So I think it's time to take two days off, maybe even three days. Who knows? But we'll see. We'll see how everything will go. Hopefully they'll have a reload right away for me. And then we can uh, get back early enough for uh, Thursday so I can do my things that I have planned for Thursday night. That would be awesome. I would like that very much. So let's get on down the road and see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have decided to go in here by Grand Forks, North Dakota to the Flying J up here make a pit stop in here yeah I want to go in there and see if they can retorque my wheels also need to take my half an hour break and I need to fill up my windshield washer fluid jug there it's been low for a little while here now so need to fill that up and get me a bite to eat and then we'll be happy campers again yeah so we just gotta wait till this light changes and then we can go over there to uh, take care of business I think first I'm gonna go is go over there to the shop that's first priority there we go and then we'll get our wheels retorqued hopefully that would be much needed and then that way uh, we won't have to worry about it you know and then we'll go grab us a bite to eat that's right we gotta go over here into the flying J up here I think this used to be a different type of truck stop I don't think it used to be a flying J but then later on Flying J bought it. Now we got a Flying J up here. 
in 0.2 miles, turn left on South 48th Street. Yeah, I know. RJ is screaming at me, he wants me to go somewhere else. He wants to get me back onto the highway interstate, right? Yeah, that's right. Anyways, we'll go in there and do our things and then we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Well guys, we are now in Minnesota. Yeah! We uh, went to Fargo, a little bit of rush hour up there in Fargo right now, but uh, hey, we made it through, right? That's all that matters. Moorhead, Minnesota scale was open. But they just gave us the bypass lane today, so our weight must have been alright. So here we are, just giving her. And as you can uh, obviously see, it's raining. Which is not a really good sign. Because it probably gets uh, up to freezing point tonight. It's going to be dangerous out here on these roads tonight. Or tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to be like, but uh, we'll just have to deal with it at that time, right? We got our new tires, so that should help out a little bit, right? Yep, that's right. But anyways, I figured I would give you a little bit of an update on where, where we are at and where we're up to and all that good stuff, so... Uh, so yeah, it's, it's definitely raining. We got 300 miles to go yet to our delivery yet. So uh, I mean, it's about 115 miles to Sox Center, Minnesota yet. So I might just pull in over there and call it a day. I feel kind of tired today or whatever for some reason. I don't really feel like pushing her late tonight. I don't know why, but... I just don't. We'll have 500 miles behind us by the time we get over there or very close to it. That should be enough for today. I know I could do 600, a little over 600 if I really pushed it, but uh, I don't feel like doing that today. So uh, we may just pull in there by Sock Center and say that's it. But I guess we'll decide on uh, when we get there if that's going to be it or not. Anyways, uh, looks like the sun will be going down here pretty soon. As you can see, it's starting to get dark. If you can look out of the windshield there. Yeah. That feels like the wind has slowed down a little bit too, so it should be... Uh, Not too bad for wind there so should be getting better fuel mileage now that's for sure that's a fact here comes another truck that wants to go past us I'm already doing 62 these guys want to go faster yet yeah I normally only do 60 but uh, since this is a bit of a rush load I figure I push it a little bit further go a little bit faster I could even go faster than that if I wanted to I could go speed limit but I ain't gonna do that and burn all my fuel just to get the load there earlier no way because I'm the one that pays for the fuel so they ain't gonna pay my fuel But yeah, there just before Fargo, there was uh, when it started uh, raining, all of a sudden it started turning into snow and uh, rain mixture there. So I was uh, getting a little worried it might be getting nice rain here pretty soon. But now it's uh, warmed up a little bit, I guess. And now it's just warm enough to where it's raining. It's not freezing right now, but just wait a little bit longer and it will be freezing. I can almost guarantee you that. That's when it's going to be nasty. I am pretty sure of that. Unless they put lots of salt on right away, then it will be alright. So we'll continue on cruising here and uh, we'll see where we end up for today, right? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it up to Suck Center, Minnesota. Yeah, that's it. 
we are done for today we got about 180 miles to go yet tomorrow unless we all of a sudden do decide to go all the way up to Minneapolis and then take I-35 around uh, around like uh, go south on I-35 up to I-90 and come back a little bit but if we don't uh, do that then uh, it's about 180 miles. I don't know how far it is if I go up to I-35 yet, but uh, hey, as far as I know, it's 180 miles to go. So it looks like if we get to bed here very soon and get up as soon as we can, as, uh, as soon as our 10 hours is up, we might just barely be able to get there for nine o'clock. It's gonna be barely, but uh, we just might be able to make it happen but uh, we'll see we'll keep our fingers crossed so i'm not gonna continue talking too much here so that way i can get to bed here asap and we can get to uh, sleep and get up early tomorrow morning and take care of business right so uh thank you guys for watching today i appreciate that and stick around for tomorrow we got something uh coming up here tomorrow i'm sure so have a good one everybody and we'll see you tomorrow give me a big thumbs up have a good one it's time to get going it's time to move on put this behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down